April and it's still six degrees only outside. Like I cannot deal with that situation. <gasps> Come on, Berlin, get warmer, please. Honestly, you guys, it's freezing. If you're living here, you know, if you're coming to visit, get ready. And if you're moving here, get even more ready. <laughs> we have winter pretty much the entire year, I swear to God. But once the summer hits in Berlin, even spring, it's like, to be honest, last night I had a really nice walk and I could just hear the birds chirping. I walked from Mitte to Schöneberg because I could. I had time and the weather was actually okay. I mean, it was still cold, but it was a beautiful sunset. Birds were chirping. It was mm, when every evening can be like that, just a little warmer, I'm gonna be super happy. Anyway, I'm now off to meet a friend of mine. We're going for some lunch at a really nice vegan restaurant. I mean, I don't know if it's really nice. I've heard, but I've never been there before trying out for the first time. It's called Plus 84 Vegan Kitchen in Asian Delhi. I'm pretty excited. And then we're going to probably get a coffee somewhere. I don't know, maybe some cake. We'll see what we do. We are working on our little project together, which I still haven't shared with you guys, but I will very soon. I'm very excited about it. We both are. It's just super new to us. But once we can launch it, then I'll talk about it a lot more. But for now, let's get my little booty to Mitte. Bye, have fun in Chemnitz. Hi, look at this comfy sofa here. Oh yeah, it's gorgeous. You look very comfortable. <laughs> is espresso house look at how huge that is like honestly <laughs> i've never seen a cappuccino this big and cappuccino we asked for big we got big we also got this caramel choco vegan muffin and then a classic chocolate this cookie. looks a little sad on the table it does but I, I bet it's good you know <laughs> and now we're gonna work on our little project that i told you guys about which coming soon excited have you been in my vlogs before maybe I feel like I haven't actually introduced you. Hello. So this is Rika. She is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> let's start working and let's do a little taste test. Still gonna let copyright it. <laughs> <laughs> I just got home from the pet shop. This lighting is just gorgeous. Wow, amazing. My house looks like an absolute tit at the moment. I have not maintained it because I know that I have to do a deep clean in a minute. I've got to get rid of these fleas or at least try to. I just got home from the pet shop, bought a bunch of sprays, like a flea collar, as well as these intense flea sprays that Christian and I will have to try and figure out on Monday because you're supposed to put them into your home and leave your home for two hours, bring your pet with you as well. No no one should be at home, everything should be covered and you just let them kind of do their thing for two hours and then afterwards you have to air out the whole place for an hour and then you can finally like come home. So we're gonna have to do that on Monday because I need his help uh, but for now I'm going to vacuum everything very intensely as well as use this spray that's fine like it's it's okay for our pet to be around and Osh was sleeping on my pillow which is absolutely beautiful I'm gonna have to change the bed sheets had to do that anyway so it's okay but yeah I think I'm gonna have to change bed sheets now for like every day for the next two weeks or something and make sure that I just keep them clean because please love beds I mean they got good taste what can I say it's just a nightmare right now so good felt the rain I should find shelter pull up my umbrella but today I'm feeling Stella Always with my own spin, a queen deserves a true king. Boy. 
So this is what sometimes happens to your orders in Germany. Apparently, my package has been delivered yesterday and it's been left outside a door. This is for sure not my door. I absolutely do not recognize these tiles over here, so I'm a little bit concerned. <laughs> we take delivery photos to help you find your package. Well, um, let's see. I'm gonna go around the doors here, but I do not recognize this floor at all. Maybe it's on the entryway of our place. I don't know. I, I literally have never seen this floor before in this building, but let's see. They claim it's been delivered, so let's try and find it. So that's my door. As you can see, it's nothing like the picture. It's got red carpeting and most of the building has red carpeting, so I'm very curious to see where these tiles are. Let's see. So here we have the main entrance tiles. Bam, there they are. But I'm just confused, like, how they just like left my package. It could be at any door. Oh man. Upstairs, as you can see, it's carpet again. So the only place they could have left it is at this door here. It's not like someone's apartment, I think it's a basement. This is problematic. Hmm. Okay, you guys, I found it. There it is. <laughs> Someone put it up on top of all of the post boxes. I never would have seen that. I was literally walking out about to leave and I looked up and I was like, is that her? That is her. This is my amazing handheld vacuum cleaner for flea vacuuming on the go. At least it's one thing about Germany you can be sure about is like no one steals. I mean, obviously some people probably do, but the majority of people they won't steal, especially not your neighbors. Where am I trying to vlog and carry this box to my apartment? I'll see you in a minute, all right? I'll see you when I get to the office. So I am in Christian's office. You guys, I want to show you this office a few vlogs ago and I never got around to it. But today I'm here on my own because everyone is basically away for Easter weekend. And for me, actually, it's not Easter. Fun fact, I'm Orthodox. So we celebrate Easter actually on the 16th of April, which I know most Bulgarians do, uh, most Serbians do. So for me, it's just a little extended weekend. It is honestly the perfect weekend. I'm spending it alone, which is actually quite nice. Sometimes you just, oh, I spilled coffee on my perfectly clean and washed cream joggers. This is why I need to just wear black every day of my life because I, I cannot handle like cream colors. Oh man, that's not gonna come out now. I just know it. Okay, well, if you guys know any amazing stain removers that actually remove stains from white clothes because I am really bad at removing. Hello? <laughs> I heard demons. Yeah, I'm obviously going crazy. I'm really bad at removing stains from my clothes. So whenever I get stains on clothing, I just kind of know that that piece of clothing is on its way out. I am living though for the fact that they have a kitchen cloth with cats on it. That's given me life. Anyway, as I was saying, sometimes it is nice to just be on your own, in your own space, do things at your own pace, in your own time, and just be with yourself. Sometimes it is hard to be on your own with yourself, with your own thoughts, not constantly distracted by, I don't know, social media, TV, books, texting, movies, just everything. There's so much distraction in daily life that you forget to be with yourself. And that's not always easy. That's pretty good coffee. Mm -hmm. Taking the spot. So I've just come here to get out of home and also because this office has the nicest natural lighting and sunshine and an amazing terrace. So I've just been on an hour call with one of my friends to catch up and I was sitting on the terrace tanning. It was amazing. I wish I could bring Ocho, but he has fleas, so couldn't do it, unfortunately. Another time. So I thought I would give you guys a little office tour because there's no one here today. I can freely show you around. It is quite messy though, I'm not gonna lie. Although I think this is like a good day for them. I mean, it's like 12 guys, so I don't think it's going to be very clean. They do have a cleaner that comes every fortnight, I believe. So, uh, you know, it seems like she's been here recently, maybe, I don't know. But it is an amazing office and I would love to have this as an apartment because it's super nice. It's in Kreuzberg. Not my favorite, like Cottbus a tour area, like not not my fave, not gonna lie. Wouldn't love to live there. You can't complain about apartments or offices or things like that in Berlin. You just gotta, you gotta take what you can get. So let's do a little tour. So starting from the front door, you walk in and there's a cleaning plan here, which I think is quite cute because they're definitely not sticking to that, but they have a cleaner now, so probably don't need that. 
So we come in here and we have the main kind of room, work room. There's a nice big table for working. This is where I was just filming the video, sitting right here with my coffee. More workspace there. This is actually a painting that uh, a friend of mine did for a video we made and it ended up here somehow. Not sure how, it looks kind of cool though, I'm not gonna lie. So from a different angle, you can see that we have a massive and lovely terrace out there, which is amazing. If I just spin around, there's a sofa here, some paintings, these are Christians from Bali. They were actually in our old apartment, so if you watched our old apartment tour, you will have seen those. We have a TV here, usually they do big uh, meetings on this TV so that everyone can kind of be seen. They actually built this wall. I'm actually very impressed about it because this wall didn't exist when we first moved here. I keep saying we moved here. I didn't move, I, I have nothing to do with this. When they moved here, this wall didn't exist. And they literally built this on their own. How crazy is that? And then put a curtain as like a door. Not really sure about why that, that happened, but it is what it is. But basically they wanted to build an extra room so that they could have a room where they could do calls and things where it's a little bit quieter. And it actually worked out really well. And I think the reason it worked out really well is because there are two windows. So you still get natural light in here and it doesn't feel super depressing and I don't know, tight. There's actually a lot of space. So they keep like the filming equipment in here and just a nice workspace. And they will probably paint this wall. I don't think they're gonna leave it like this. I think they will probably paint it like a nice dark green, which is the color of their company. That would be nice, like a Mattel green. Overview of the space from here. I really like it. I think there's plenty of nice sunlight, natural light, a lot of windows. Just lovely, to be honest. It gives me really good vibes. Then we have a clothing rack and uh, can we talk about this situation here, please? They bought slippers, like office slippers, because they want to make a no shoe rule. And this is what they look like. They all look identical. I find that kind of funny. So this is the corridor, which then leads us first into the kitchen, which is here to the left. The kitchen's actually super nice. I really like it. It's very bright again, plenty of natural light. A little table here that they don't really use that much, to be honest. I mean, it's an office, so you're not thinking of like dining table vibes. I mean, to be honest, that's a dining table if you were gonna have one. A nice modern kitchen, huge fridge. They actually don't have like an oven or any cooking things because again, it's an office so it's not completely necessary. They purchased this so that they could make some things on it. So it's like a portable one. And the crazy coffee machine that took me so long to figure out how to use, but we got there, we got there. And some construction views because you can't have Berlin. Some construction views. We are on the top floor. So we're quite high up, but you do get some lovely natural light on the side of the building. And yeah, it's just very peaceful. Listen to those animals. Oh, I love it. It's such a beautiful day. Then we just have some storage space here and that's that's pretty much the kitchen. A soda stream, obviously, because you know, Germany. And let's continue on. We then come to the bathroom, which is over here. And also apparently this bin, they were very excited about it because they consider it a designer bin. And I was like, okay, show me what's designer about it because from the outside, I wouldn't say it looks the best. I mean, I don't know, it's okay. I don't judging, you know? And apparently the reason it's designer is because when you open it and you let go, it closes slowly. Yeah, literally, I was like, I, uh, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, that's very designer. <laughs> mm. So here is the bathroom. It's a pretty good sized bathroom with a Hollywood star from a tail. Love that for them. Hola, hello. Full bathtub in here, which is amazing because we don't even have a bathtub at home. Toilet, obviously, nothing special. Area for stuff. Also, what on earth is this? Uh, it looks like a hospital thing and why is it here? Apparently no one knows, which freaks me out. So let's move on. And then we have two more rooms. One of them is this workroom here. So this workroom has a bunch of desks, a massive whiteboard that's blocking the view from behind, but I'll show you. And then we have another desk here, another window, which let me show you guys the view. Also the other half of the sofa, which is hilarious. And. <laughs> Of course, there's stuff everywhere. Let me show you the view here because it's actually wonderful. Ah, how pretty. Look at that view, you guys. There's always like demonstrations and stuff going on over there. We're in the heart of Kreuzberg. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Got some nice views. Okay, and the last room is this one here and it's actually a bedroom. I mean, obviously you can tell this was an apartment at some point, I believe. But yeah, there's a bedroom in here. It's a small one but it's a bedroom and another desk. And I think the developer guy works in here. He like closes the door, makes it all dark and just sits at his laptop and works here. It's quite funny. You can also take a nap if you wanted to move in for a week. I don't know, whatever. And then just storage, a lot of storage. That's pretty much the 
place. But look at the amount of natural light. This is what I just love about it because you don't always get this in Berlin or in Germany in general. I think it's a really great office. To be honest, as I said, I would take it as an apartment like this if I could. But even as an office, it is actually very, very nice. And yeah, I think what is a winner is the terrace because you don't always get such a big terrace in Germany or in Berlin. I don't know, in Germany, maybe you do. But in Berlin, it is definitely hard to find such a nice big terrace and such a wide space. I don't know the square meter of this place, but... I would like to say around 80. I don't know, maybe I'm making that up, so don't, don't quote me on that. But yeah, I do really love it.